Good evening. We are tracking a new wildfire in our state, the Slate Fire. It's already shut down a part of State Route 87 between Phoenix and Payson. Now, according to ADOT, drivers heading southeast on Highway 188 can travel only about a mile or so before they get to Roosevelt and Highway 88. There's a closure there because of the Woodbury fire. Now we're working to find out when this area will reopen. Right now it's burning roughly 250 acres. We have Carrie Templin on the phone with the Tonto National Forest to talk to us about this new slate fire. So Carrie, is this close to any homes? At the current time, no, it is not close to any homes. In the current direction, it's burning away from homes. So that's certainly good news right there, right off the bat. And how old is this fire? We understand it started today. How long has it been burning? It was reported about 1 o'clock this afternoon, so just about four hours so far. What are the biggest challenges right now for the fire crews? We know that weather has played a big role in wildfires that we've seen so far with the wind and the dry temperature. What can you tell us about this one? The crews were able to get on this one quickly because of the fact that it is right on the highway. And yes, they are being challenged by hot temperatures and weather, but sounds like they are working diligently and making good progress on this fire. Okay, and when we talk about, uh, we were mentioning some of the traffic issues that might come into play, some of the road closures. Um, the uh, fire last night near I-17, that was one that caused some issues. Is there any sense of how long this might be affecting uh, Highway 88 there? Um, I'm seeing on the ADOT report that they are already able to open one lane of 87 southbound. So it sounds like there's hope that we will be able to get people moving again um, in the next couple hours or so. Is there anything else you think that viewers should know given the conditions right now? We had a very wet winter. Uh, we know that uh, the American Red Cross has urged people to have a go bag ready. Is there anything you can tell viewers given the unique conditions this year? I think there's a couple of things. I mean, you're seeing it in a couple of places. You saw the, you know, the fire closed down 17 last night. It closed down 87, at least temporarily today. You know, anybody that's getting on the highway should have um, extra supplies with them, extra water, maybe some snacks, maybe a blanket, because you just never know when a wildfire might start and where and how long you may be, you know, stuck sitting until things can get cleared up and we can get you moving again. Very good advice, and also homeowners should know maybe creating some defensible space around their yards as well, clearing out any dry brush. Obviously, it's early in the investigation. Do you have any indication as to how this one started? Not at this time. You're right. It's pretty early. We're concentrating on making sure we get um, a line around it as quick as possible, and then we'll go into the investigation and see what, what we can learn. All right, thanks so much. Carrie Templin there with the Tonto National Forest. We appreciate you uh, giving us some information there on the slate fire which broke out today.